got it. No, I did not get it for my monitor. I'll get to fight with this. I gotta figure out what the problem with that is. Just give me a minute to drag all my screens over. My monitor that I was playing the game on decided to not refresh itself. This back to that resolution and switch it back to HDMI. That on, and then I gotta edit that. Figure this, figure out this raid. latest news and they'll also update everything. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Friday, Friday July 28, 2023 at, C, at 12 a.m. UTC. So that's nine, that's 9 o'clock p.m. for me today. It'll also repeat on August the 4th. All right, so I actually have it up in my end. Yeah, there he is. Oh no, that's that's my uh, six star. Uh, yeah, that's my six star raid. Is he not electric type? Yeah, there he is. There's my there's my Rillaboom. Alright, so how do we want to do this? about this raid is just knowing if this Rillaboom actually has acrobatics or not. Um, that's what I'm reading in, on some websites right now that, are, that have put up some preemptive uh, builds.
Oh, okay. So what is what is uh her stats? Here, yeah, it has a higher physical attack. Playing some form of physical defense would probably be ideal, and its speed is actually decent. It mostly knows physical attacks. Boomburst will be a special attack, though. shouldn't hit too hard. It's kind of special. Something with high, high physical defense would be ideal. Skeledurgy lasted longer? Oh, that's good. Fighting type attacks? That'd be pretty sweet. No, we don't know any. That or I'm missing I'm missing some. Ride on? Ride on might would be an option, I'm not sure. These has my legendaries in it. <laughs> oh, this one. If the Maridon knows a fighting type attack, it might help. Let's try that. I'm, I'm gonna go with Skeledurge to test the waters. give them some more levels, too. So why not? Let's just jack up to... Jack him up to 100. Why not? I wish pressing the minus button called up the map. <laughs> yes, elements could be ideal for defense, but he doesn't know any fighting type attacks. That's that's the key. We gotta someone's gotta know some fighting type attacks. Some fighting type attacks. You learn brick break. Okay, that's that's a thing. That'd be an option too. <laughs> Try Skeledurge and see how far we can go. Let's see what randos we get. Oros? Hmm.
No, not the not the Pokemon card, God. I want Poros the actual Pokemon. Eh may, maybe the fire fighting one. I'm not I'm not too not too keen on that. Someone coming in with an eye late, someone with an iron hands. I'm still missing a fourth. No, nope, they blanked out. Okay. <laughs> I'm hoping they're ready up soon. Alright, let's see how this goes down. If it does. Torkoal? Torkoal? Hmm. What a strat on that is. Grassy Surge. Opens up with growth. He already has an attack and a special attack boost. Torkoal just did cute pure smog. Does no acrobatics, so there's that problem. That means any any fighting type that isn't prepared to like that doesn't have a high enough defense to get past that acrobatics. Yeah, so far, so far, I'm seem to be doing okay. Torkoal is an idea. There's our en there's the energy barrier. Really didn't make much of a dent into its HP though. In this case, all he's all he's doing is spamming acrobatics on me. <clears throat> there's the stat changes. So all that torch song I just did. Just used growth again. Boom burst. Doesn't affect Skeletor. <laughs> yeah, it's really that scout it's really that acrobatics. Get a heal up in here. What's nice is no one's died yet. Which is actually kind of nice. Of course, I say that, and I'm about to, I'm about to die. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take one for the team. Oh, hold on. Oh. 
bulk up again. For another heal up. Cheer. I'll do another heal up. Now the Torkoal's terrestrializing. <laughs> a Torkoal actually did a good chunk on him. I think we're getting this. No more heals now. now the Rilla Broom's definitely faster than the Skeletors. There's that. Broke the shields. There's that. Got one more torch song in me. I'll just have to scream, hi spam hyper voice, voice at this point. Oh, now the. Now everyone's terrestrialized except for me. This isn't good. Unless the other three can do some heavy damage to him right now. Oh, boy. Nope, nope. Someone else died. Damn, we were so close. Definitely knows acrobatics, so fighting types are not good. Ghost type's definitely a good way to go, because that, uh, that cheats him out of Body Slam and Boom Burst. Did you learn any fighting type moves? That would help. Even a special fighting type move would be useful. No, nope, he doesn't learn a single fighting type. That is hard. Deal that person with the torque. We're gonna torque real quick. <laughs> I 
was that Torkoal had a terror type of fighting, so that might have that might have helped. It has a very high defense. Okay. Let's see what Torkoal's up to now. That Torkoal was a support, I think. <laughs> I didn't notice it do it tear smog. Learn and and it used body press earlier. Okay, so that's the idea. That's what the point of that torque hole was. Stack PP ups. Consider cranking torch song up so I can use it more often. Okay, that's it. Um, give it an item. I have a metronome because that actually would be useful. Metronome. No, I don't have a metronome. Interesting. buy myself a metronome. Fire Fang is a physical move, yes. Gorilla Boom has a somewhat lower uh, special defense compared to its defense, so you may want to may want to focus on special attacks. Okay, here we go, Metric. day.
I'm just gonna sit there and spam Torch Song. This metronome will be handy. Yeah, special attack moves. So, for example... Anything with the... Where you see the category here, anything with the circles, that's a special move. So here, for example, Crunch ha just has, like, a, an explosion. That's a physical move. For Torch Song, Hyper Voice, and Shadow Ball just have circles, so that's, that's a special move. And then if it looks like it has, it looks like an oval with a, with a black splotch in it, and that's a that's a, a support move that doesn't do any damage. All right, let's try this again. Let's see if having a metronome might help. Someone named Reek Coon coming in with a tight lotion. Oh, fighting type Arceus? That might be a possibility. Switched with Sizor. That's interesting. It's a shiny size one. <laughs> Item died instantly. Sizor is now dead. Yeah, this is going well. The Arceus is now dead, I think. Yep, 
Yeah, no. Uh, the Arceus indeed died. Now he's back. Cried instead again. <laughs> the teammates are not helping much. It's like these guys have forgotten that this guy just spams acrobatics. And now everyone's dead. That was quick. I'll find some more information here. second here. Monitor just blanked out on me. Oh, I just noticed that. Whoops. <laughs> I just realized that the capture device is still on uh, 480p or 720. I mean, there now, now it should look a lot nicer <laughs> for you guys. You're going to try Dragonite? Yeah, Dragonite could be a possibility. I was thinking of using a Corviknight. I was just looking for my boxes to see if my might have some. I do have a Corviknight in this box, I think. Yeah. Where's IVs? Just need to 
crank up that attack, I guess. Right, yeah, he doesn't know any special attacks, though. It's about. Might have some. <laughs> no, we can't use the PPLs just yet. And when I get him hyper trained, I think. Two people are using those birds. Yeah, I think Cor I'm reading Corviknight might be a good uh, good idea for support. This reflect will help really weaken Rillaboom's attacks. We're talking to the Aboma Snow, not. combination of iron defense and body press will uh, will help do some damage. Except those two. <laughs> he doesn't need special attack. crawl away from him. And now we jack this Corviknight up to level 100. And then we'll give him a shell bell. Pretty sure I have a shell bell. I have a soothe bell. Now nah, there's a shell bell. Let's 
It's only when it inflicts damage with attack, so we gotta remember that. Alright. Let's give this Corviknight a try. Oh yeah, anyone who's already caught this Rillaboom is probably already breeding and throwing up the group keys out on the, up on the surprise trade. Galarian Zapdos. That's an idea. Torkoal is also an idea for support. This Torkoal has a high defense. has a higher defense in Core of the Night. That's unfortunate. Access to Clear Smog, which definitely helps out. And it can also do the Iron Defense. Iron Defense body body press shenanigans. Corviknight has higher attack though. We'll give this a try. kick. <laughs> we'll spam iron defense. <laughs> okay. It's not doing any... Yeah, it's not super effective because it's a score of Corviknight is uh, flying steel. Oh, that was a critical, though. Oh, lame. I was hoping to get that body press in before the before the shield went up. We did a significant amount of damage to him, though. Huh. 
Now I have to spam Iron Defense again. There goes there goes the Galarian Zapdos. Ah, but he also get hit by Boom Burst. Not very effective though. Need to put up another Reflect. Nope, it's still up. Oh, I need to roost. Now I don't need to roost. Oops. <laughs> Everyone's spamming healing moves now. Reflect up in there. Span the iron defense again. because it's stupid barriers up. His defense should be capped at this point. Slam did nothing except to apply that paralysis. Oh, there's a good chunk. I think we might got this. We're going to risk it all now. Conveniently, this Corvin Knight has a terra has a terror type of fighting, so this should do a significant amount of damage. But then that makes him susceptible to acrobatics. <laughs> oh, there's a kick in the nuts. There's another one. I think we got this. Yeah, there we go. There goes the barrier. Its HP's gone. There, well, I did it. <laughs> All right, let's give this guy a catch a Rooney. Who are we putting this guy? Ooh, yeah, let's nest ball. It's kind of a fitting Pokeball for Rillaboom. Based on the colors. AJ Ramsey, thanks for pricka tuning in. I appreciate it. How are you doing tonight? It's going pretty well. I just beat the uh, Rillaboom uh, raid, so there's that. Oh, nice. An ability patch and TM66. That's about it. <laughs> you have a special attack focus Skeletors, but nothing else good for this raid. Uh, I went with this Corviknight that has a Reflect, Iron Defense, Body Press, and Roost. Of course, uh, the, uh, my teammates were quite helpful, too. Anyways, let's check out this Rillamella Boom. Those acrobatics from beating. Has its hidden ability, Grassy Surge. Has that thing. 
What's the IVs? What's his IVs saying? Maxed all around. Okay, that's cool. I just realized that the Corvin. <laughs> I should have changed the Corvinite's uh, uh, nature. We can still do that though. We're gonna make him impish. All right, I need to get to a Pokemon Center. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> a lot of sites are still suggesting you use fighting types. You just have to find some way to tank the acrobatics. <laughs> yeah, it also knows low kick. But uh, low kick didn't really do a whole lot against Corvid. Alright, so yeah. There's, there's the Rillaboom raid. I better save at this point. <laughs> we don't want to mishap like with the Delphox raid. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Fighting grass. Yeah, that's quadruple weak to, fall, to flying. <laughs> so uh, an acrobatics would really hurt. All right. Pop, uh, pop this Rillaboom in. Back here. I don't think I did that with that particular ray, did I? Sure what to do. <laughs> I suppose I could do some more of those Rillaboom raids. And I'd have to go for the uh, Poke Portal to do that. There's also my uh, six star raid. I wonder what that is. It's electric type. They have a fighting terror type, so your only hope would be to rush to the terrestrializing. Yeah. Electric Frost Moth. Ooh, that shouldn't be too bad. Frost Moth. <laughs> Definitely wouldn't have any electric type attacks. Only abilities are shield, dust, and ice scales. Oh, this one should be doable. You could host an extra if you want. That'd be that'd be cool. Hopefully, there's some other people in my chat who might be willing to join. In on this. I think Reno's still struggling to, to catch his. For now, I'm gonna try out my my five my six star. Some of ground type would help. Not a ground type Pokemon though. Frostmoth would would know uh, still know some ice type attacks. Ice bug flying. That's about it.
figure out what Pokeball I could use for this Frost Moth raid. Let's try out this one. I want to try this rock crab bomb one. You're gonna to need to use Skeledurge, okay? Yeah, I, I, I did try Skeledurge at the beginning, and it seemed to help me outlast the fight a little bit. Uh, but it, it wasn't taking advantage of the fact that uh, the, uh, the Rillaboom is normal type, though. why I went with the Corviknight, because Corviknight can learn Reflect, which helps weaken Rillaboom's Onslaught. And then I could just spam Iron Defense to max out the defense, and then and, uh, Body Press him. I guess Hikari didn't want to join us. <laughs> Torch Song's not a bad attack. Oh, oh Papa Raja, okay. That guy's gonna use, uh... Use King Gambit. Gotta wait on the fourth who <laughs> apparently doesn't show up. Yeah, there we go. Start raid battle. He's immune to will o wisp uh, you could you could you should be able to will o wisp him at the beginning but once he gets the energy barrier up you can't yeah something like that crowd on okay Ow. 
Ouch. Copper Raja got frozen. <laughs> this Frost Moth keeps trying to use Snowscape despite that there's already snow. Bad. Plenty of time. We managed to get it to half health. Groudon is dead. We're in the process of dying. Sunny day solar beam. Um, maybe. Probably not against a Rilla boom. I mean, if you want to do some heavy damage, at least. Ooh, hurricane. Nice. It actually knows a flying type attack. <laughs> That's unfortunate. We were doing so well because it just kept standing, spamming snowscape, but now, now it realized that there's snow, it's like, now it's just wrecking all of us. Um, no, uh, Sunny Day doesn't do anything to grass type attacks, except for two particular grass attacks. One of those being, oh, so, so, no. Okay, maybe, maybe it's not just those two, two attacks then. <laughs> oh, missed. Solar Beam and Solar Blade are two. Uh, no, we ran out of time. Really. Synthesis. Synthesis will recover more HP. Lewis, Solar Beam, Torch Song, Sunny Day. Good work. So much for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it wasn't a good idea knowing that, uh... <clears throat> <laughs> Reno gives up. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, un yeah. I've read it. Unaware is the good ability because uh, that that ignores the uh, stat boosts that the uh, that the Rillaboom is applying to itself.
Right. Um, well, AJ, if you're willing to put up that uh, Rillaboom raid, me and Reyna will be able to join in for it. And that'll just be the four of us. Or the three of us. If we had a fourth, that'd probably help. Throat spray? Yeah, throat spray's handy. I, I had my Skeletor Dirge with a metronome. So if you're just going to spam one move, then metronome can help. And I read that uh, Shell Bell is useful as well. Choice, choice scarf can work too, yeah. The only problem with choice scarf, scarf is that you're locked into said move. Whereas metronome, you... Oh, okay. For, for a second there, I thought this watch roll was shiny. That's the case, and I'll just try this raid again. I'll just go with camera. <laughs> just try my six star. Choice scarf. A scarf. Uh, when held by a Pokemon, it boosts the Pokemon's speed by 50%, but only allows the use of the first move selected. So it'll, it'll give you a, a speed boost, but then you're locked into the first move that you made that Pokemon do. that one kid. Unless you want your Pokemon to be really fast, but and and you're only gonna make that Pokemon do one move full time. Claude Sire. Yeah, Solar Beam hits hard, but against Rillaboom, it, even with his normal typing, it probably won't do much. Metronome, uh, if you keep using a particular move over and over and over, Metronome boosts the power of that move. But unlike the choice items, it doesn't lock you into that move. So if you choose a different move, then the boost from Metronome will be reset, but you, yeah, but it will allow you to still use your other, other moves if you need. Ah. 
Wow, okay. Blizzard. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> that was a good showing by my camera. This dies to a blizzard. getting frozen. Everyone's getting frozen and I'm getting insta-killed by blizzards. to it. Probably because it does have its hidden ability, more likely. Man, you're getting lucky with them blizzards. Well, no, that's because it, that's because it's snowing. Snowing increases the accuracy of Blizzard. pain in the ass. If it wasn't electric, then that would help. Getting annoyed now, yeah. I don't blame you. I'll spam Torch Song to death. <laughs> Screw, screw that. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother with that. That rage. I am ready for the Rilla. I'm sure Reno is too. Reno's in here. Does max SP attack EVs? Nice. <coughs> yeah, because Rillaboom doesn't have doesn't have the greatest uh, special defense, so special attacks will definitely be the way to go. If there's anyone in chat that wants to join in on this raid, there is a spot open. Put in the link code. Apparently the game did not register my choice of Corviknight.
Hmm, yes. Unaware will indeed do that. Okay, help has arrived. Here's hoping the, uh, the computer, the CPU, uh, Trainer doesn't have anything that instantly dies to its acrobatics. Eh. Urganisol might help. Start off with Reflect. barrier, which is unfortunate. Really hoping to get that body press in before that went up. There goes all that defense I just boosted. Reno's dead. It's been burst. Back to spam in this. Probably time to put up another reflex. Is now dead, but since that's a CPU, that that won't lower the time. Myself a roost. again. Not doing too great, I don't think. Really haven't chipped away at that HP very much compared to the time. Seismic Toss. I need to put up another Reflect. Reflect's still good, okay. Oh! That's quite the critical. I need to roost. Okay. 
Now it's probably high time for another uh, reflex. Broke the barrier, so there's that. Now we just got a little bit of time to get that HP down. Probably shouldn't have terastalized now that I think about it. Yeah. <laughs> my my death kinda sealed it. Terrasalizing might not be a good idea. My Corviknight. <laughs> we were doing pretty good. Of course, if we had a fourth person, that might... Might have been different. Gimme Ghoul was. Alright, another code. Someone named Mills in. There we go, there's our fourth. <laughs> It's our lucky day. <laughs> okay. Use iron hands again. All right. All right. Let's see how we do with this. Cause now we actually have a fourth person with us. I don't know who this is, but we welcome them.
Oh, it's a shiny Sassian. Oh no, that's a Zamacenta. Whoops. <laughs> Reflect. It's modern defense happening. the barrier. Seem to be doing all right so far. There goes all our set changes. Now I have to spam. Now we all have to spam iron defense all over again. Probably time for another uh, reflect. Reflect was still good. Okay, wasted my turn. Now's probably time for another reflect. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Zombacenta has uh, crystallized. I'm hurt. Iron Hands is down. Do a roost. Don't know why that was super effective, but okay. Notice that during these these fights, apparent apparently low low kick somehow does super effective against my core knight. Maybe this has something to do with Roost. Yeah, I think that has something to do with Roost. I'd really appreciate it if you pissed off and actually used a different attack so I can actually Roost. Corviknight is a, is a flying steel, so he shouldn't be taking super effective hits from fighting. But I'm guessing that's what that's what's up with Roost. I think if I use Roost, it must remove the uh, flying ability or something. Oh, there goes Samasenta. the barrier. <laughs> Not with uh, that sliver of time left, though. Yep, there we go. We lost.
lost again. Ah, there. Okay, that's what's happening. Flying type so Pokemon successfully uses Roost. It will lose its flying type until the end of the turn. That's why I'm getting super effective hits from that low kick. not use roost. <laughs> That's probably going to be the case. Axe Defense Skeletor should be good. Yeah. Also, thanks for uh, Cricket tuning in there, Tomato Papa Man. I appreciate it. How are you doing tonight? defense but it's going down <laughs> hmm but yeah if you were able to alter its eye its EV so that uh, it's more in defense then it probably would have a better better chance I'm not saying you have to there's our next code from AJ not in this. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that's because he BRB'd. Oh, okay. Bot game. I told you to do Corviknight. Someone named Joel coming in now. Yeah, you'd have to use the uh, friendship increasing berries in order to uh, lower the stats. That or catch another, catch another skeleturge, <laughs> and then retrain that one, or train up that one. Oh, a shiny Corviknight! I'm being outclassed here.
nice. The Rillaboom's asleep for a while. <laughs> Everyone just body pressing him. There's our barrier. now woken up. Yeah, I noticed. Good thing it actually went off that time. Spam iron defense again. There's boom burst. Sama sent us down. Rillaboom's been burned. our barrier. Now we can actually do some damage to it. Oh nice, it fell asleep again. <laughs> going to rationalize now. Oh, someone got paralyzed. Paral paralyzed. <laughs> That's how you pronounce it. I think we got this. I think we got this. I think we got this. Yeah, we got this. There you go, AJ. You got your Rillaboom. You cheered to heal. Yeah, good move.
Oh, you were Nilis? Oh, well, thank you for joining in there, Omega Eight or Seven. I appreciate it. Thank you for cricket tuning in as well. Damn, didn't get anything good out of that though. <laughs> Finally, you can go to sleep. <laughs> I see. There, now we just need Reno to come back. <laughs> And we try to help Reno get this Rillaboom. Yeah, Reno. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you, Cricket Tune. Well, it's nice to meet you too, Omega Nader Seven. Thank you for the follow, and you're my 400th follower. So uh, pat yourself on the back for that. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you, Cricket Tune. And Joel GS007, thank you for the follow. Nice to meet you too as well. Damn, I've hit 400 followers. Great. Now let's aim for 410. There. Yeah, sorry, Reno. We BRB'd and someone else took your spot. And we managed to beat it for AJ. Available on your end, Reno, though, you can probably share the code and some of us can join in. I think this thing actually did help. Those two two moments where you put it to sleep definitely bought us a, an extra turn or two. Still needs to do the Rillaboom raid. Welcome to share their code. So after that, all I can think of doing is maybe my six star. Oh, that's got plenty. Of time. I've got at least a half hour in the stream left. Yeah, Sing's not a very reliable attack. <laughs> that, uh, that, that Cycla... It's like Cyclazar apparently has a cloaking ability. to get the shield. Nice. get this Rillaboom. It'd be the second code. <laughs> Don't think yeah, you can't use the at symbol in this code, so yeah. Two W six C. Alright, I'm in.
you change to different Pokemon if you want to, uh, Reno. Just keep, just keep in mind that if you pick a fighting type, it's it's gonna get hit by that acrobatics. <laughs> so prob probably a a fighting type with high defense, or uh, or even a Pokemon that can res resist Rillaboom's attacks, but can, but has a fighting type attack. That could help as well. Even you can't catch it twice, maybe you get Herba. Yeah, yeah if the if the Herbas drop from these, I've I haven't really noticed the Herba Mysticas dropping from these seven star raids. But I have heard that you can get like ability patches, capsules, even bottle caps. Zamacento was useful. <laughs> yep. Usually picture Zacian to be the attacker, but no, oh, that was a that was a Zamacento that was pulling its weight. If anyone else wants to join in on this, there's the code at the top. Still a spot available. Yeah, ability, ability patches are always good. Mewtwo? You could give Mewtwo a shot. If it knows a special fighting type attack, that would definitely help. In 10 seconds. Five of them through a six star raid? Nice. That's a good haul. Yep, there we go. Help has arrived. Well, we got a CPU. <laughs> Thankfully, with the CPU, if they die, it doesn't lower the time, so just got to worry about ourselves. Oh, it's a shiny Mewtwo. Fancy. a turn. <laughs> the energy barrier. Now it's no longer asleep. Yeah, I'm waiting for that stat change nullify. Boom burst. Defense again. Time for another ref 
reflect, maybe? Yes, it is. Should have stayed with Iron Hands. <laughs> oh, well. There's always the next attempt. To be honest, I don't think we're doing too great. It's our time. We don't have a whole lot of time now. Risk it as well. You got crit? <laughs> Haven't we all? Mewtwo can learn Urus here, which is a special fighting type attack. Slowly getting that barrier down. Oh, but the Skullagurge died. There we go. We're done. Most unfortunate. Ah, oh, it's all good, Reno. It's all good. Yeah, I probably could have done some healing cheers. <laughs> Is up with the next code, Rado, when you're ready. Hmm. That might help. Star Fire Type Heracross. Interesting.
Star Wug Trio. There we go, there's Brainos next code. Change the moves on Mewtwo. Nice. Here's the code if anyone wants to join in and help Reno get this Rillaboom. Certainly'd appreciate it. You have 40 seconds. might want to cancel the raid at this point taking this long for someone else to join oh never mind <laughs> we're doing this with two cpus you well you sh should have been able to Rifflin might have the edge. I don't know about uh, about the Sylveon. Dear, I don't I don't see us winning this. Knight's not gonna have uh, not gonna have the attack to do all this. Even with the boosted body press.
Yeah. Mm. We're looking for. Him. First. It's a special attack, so <laughs> all the reflecting and iron defending I'm doing is not helping. But well, stop that. It isn't. Keep doing that. Black would have been down by now. Should be time for a replay. There we go. You gotta crit me. Now nah, we're running out of time anyway. And there we go. A valiant effort for for two uh, human players. already. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, H8. Three, one, and two. A shiny higher enhances us better defense. <laughs> It's not re ready up until we get enough people. <laughs> That's the idea. So if anyone else wants to join in on this, the code is at the top, up there on the screen, or in the chat. Feel free to join in. We could use a fourth person. There's AJ. Let's wait out the timer just in case. Just in case there is someone that might want to join. I guess no one else has joined. It's unfortunate. Oh, the raid's been abandoned. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going to need another code, Reno. <laughs> oh, because not... Yeah, yeah, it abandoned because not we weren't all ready. <laughs> One person's got to be ready, but preferably not the person hosting in case they want to actually uh, abandon it. X. Said it was abandoned because none of us were actually ready. <laughs> okay. Already up. There's the code again in chat. If anyone else wants to join in on this, we can we could use a fourth person. If you happen to need the Rillaboom as well, then perfect opportunity. Yeah, you missed Score Bunny. Yeah, I think I missed Score Bunny too. But I did. But I did get him in a you know in a surprise train. So I'm good. You might as well ready up at this point, Reno. Get it started. I don't think anyone's going to join in 40 seconds. <laughs>
Yeah, you might as well. Nice. Already asleep right out of the gate. That helps. his HP down to a decent amount. Should be putting up his barrier right about now. He's going to nullify stat changes. I'm going to wait until he does. <laughs> Jeez, that Gardevoir ain't doing too great. Boom burst. Do a defense cheer. Go back to spamming iron, uh, iron defense. again. Good. Better reflect back up. Go chant. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I didn't even know you terrestrialized.
now he's actually using an attack that is a low kick. It's alright, Reyno. Uh, can we do another reflect? Might help. Nope. Reflect's still in effect. <laughs> Paralyzed. Ah, we've broken the barrier. That's nice. Oh, managed to get that far. I get another reflect up. Yeah, there we go. Don't have much time left. Let's see if I can get away with uh, terrestrializing. Now that he's paralyzed, that might that might buy us a turn or two. It'll also make him slower. Released his gathered energy. Arr. That was close. I can't, I can't say this. I can't can't keep saying this. We really need a fourth person. That really would have made a difference. For some reason, I only have six viewers. <laughs> Hmm. Ah. Uh, I'm at my four hour mark, so I don't know. Good. Good try one more time. everyone else is, but if not, then yeah, I'm... this is probably a good time to end the stream. Side up, okay. <laughs> I thought that was a funny color to... What's the code again, Reno? Try one more time and then we'll then something, I don't know.
the code again if anyone else wants to join in on this. We'd appreciate your help. <laughs> we definitely use a fourth. Do done sparse. Do say. Doesn't stop the energy barrier, though. That's right, I'll just play a defense. Had to spam more iron defense. acrobatics. <laughs> he didn't have that, then whipping out any fighting type would have been perfect. had to crit with that, didn't you?
You do another reflect? Yes, I do. Okay. So I said he got burned. Viewers wow. crit. Yeah. I was crit too. <laughs> Why you do terror raids on popular channels? <clears throat> All right, I think that's enough of that. We made a valiant effort for Reno. I think at this point, Reno, maybe you can try the same strategy as I'm doing. A core of the knight that knows reflect, uh, iron defense, body press, and whatever the fourth. Uh, some surprise traits. Cleanse the palate. Maybe we might get some cool Pokemans. All right, yeah. So I'm still missing the <laughs> more shiny uh, Paradox Pokemon Violet. Anyone who wants to help out on that. Yeah, I can get rid of these guys now because I actually swapped these guys over to home and back so I can get those entries. Let's see your eggs. <laughs> Let's send eggs off. Let's do some do some surprise trades for a couple minutes and then I'll wrap it up. Hunter enjoys eggs. Ah, oh, Drifblim. In a quick ball. Why, well, yes, I would like to do another surprise trade. I'll just throw up the Drifblim. <laughs> Jason, with a lowercase j. Ah, oh, Slowbro. Also in a quick ball. <laughs> a new Skelly with best IVs and everything except attack. Okay. <laughs> its nickname is Bra. <laughs> its nickname is Bra. I'm going to keep him. He's a keeper. 
We're not trading him ever. Um, okay, we'll send this mastiff. not even nicknamed. Mm. <laughs> One more surprise trade. Care of Rock Ruff. By taking care, I mean sending him back to the abyss of where he came from. No, that's not that's not the Rock Ruff we just got in the trade. It's this one. <laughs> There's two Rock Ruff in this box. This will be the last one. I wanted to stretch this out until we until I hit the four hour and thirty minute mark. That's why not. A veto. Oh, Scyther. That's kinda neat. your rock rough. <laughs> Look at this scythe. Eh, must have just been a fresh look or something. By someone named Ethan. Yeah. Oh, actually it was caught like weeks ago. <laughs> Alright. Saves. There we go. That is going to be the end of the stream for tonight. So yeah, that was uh, certainly fun. <laughs> Managed to get the Rillaboom uh, Terror Raid dealt with, so I don't have to worry about it, but Reno still does. Maybe if there's time on Sunday, we could give it a, give it another shot or something. Or if you get it off stream, that's, that's no problem. Yeah. Good stream all around. Uh, there will be a stream on Sunday, probably. Yeah, Sunday. Where, uh, I don't know what we'll be playing Sunday. I did notice that two people wanted me to play Terraria t tonight in the, in the vote. The viewer vote, so maybe we might touch up on that on Sunday. Maybe some, maybe a little Terraria, and, and then maybe continuing on in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And then depending on what my work schedule is. But, uh, there'll be, there'll definitely be a day, well, there'll definitely be a stream where I'll continue on in Secret of Mana. Or no, it's not Secret of Mana, Secret of Evermore. <laughs> yeah, because I, I did start a little bit of that a couple weeks ago, and now that I've beaten Zelda Oracle of Ages, we'll actually, uh, continue on with it. So I actually kind of feel like playing it. See if we can, see if we can get that RPG beat. 
Do stick around, though, because I would like to send you guys out on a raid. Unless I don't know who I want to raid. <laughs> There's the slim pickings on my end. Let's see here. I don't want to upgrade someone who's playing Scarlet Violet. Let's see, let's see what the channels are saying here. Someone, Savannah Banana Z. She's a partner. Oh, we don't we don't need to be hearing other people's dreams. <laughs> Hmm. I don't know. Someone I actually recognize in here. Of course, I'm open to suggestions if you guys want me to raid a particular person. But, uh, no worries. Trying to look around and see if there's any familiar. So let's see if there's anyone on my other friends here. Let's see here. Give me a second here. <laughs> I don't see anyone else. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just go with the person. <laughs> go with the person that I just showed. Far too clueless. He's playing Final Fantasy XIV. Let's look him up. Far too clueless. Badly playing Final Fantasy fourteen. Oh, I see. Oh, he has a he has followers only chat. Oh, I don't know about that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of turned off by people who lock up their chats with followers only or subscribers only. Like, I understand some of the reasons for that, but, uh, but yeah, no. You know, you know him way before I it, you met me. I see. Oh, oh, I'm already down to two viewers anyway. <laughs> I guess no one wants to stick around for raids. That's That's really nice. see here yeah now now it's kind of pointless to do a raid seeing that i only have two viewers at this point yeah screw it i'll just raid this far too clue clueless guy i guess i don't know i don't i don't want you to actually go to his channel <laughs> uh, let's see here. Raid. This guy. There we go. There. If you want to see some Final Fantasy fourteen, feel free to stick around in the for the raid. But you don't have to if you don't want to. So again, uh, next stream will be on Sunday. Expect. Uh, Oh, maybe some Terraria. We'll see. Might do do a little bit of Terraria and then some uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. That'd probably be the idea. And then I'll have a schedule up on uh, Sunday. 
for uh for what for the other days that I'll be streaming. So feel free to check out the Discord at any time for when that happens. So with all that said, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good night. Hope to see you all on Sunday. And please enjoy Far Too Clueless. And just as a heads up, his uh, chat is followers only locked. So unless you feel like giving him a follow, you probably won't be able to chat in his uh, chat. <laughs>